Well, this is Gondolia over here, and I need to go to the Laguna di Gondolia. So let's actually do that first. I'm guessing I can't zoom. I don't have zoom active in any of these areas, do I? That's annoying. Okay, so he's selling Hendrix armor. God, here we go again, lowering the prices over and over again. Forty thousand. Twenty thousand. Going back and forth between the brothers, each trying to one up each other. 10,000. Okay, 5,000. Yeah, no, the, the cat is... is... untiring. <laughs> The other brother wins. 5,000. Let's do it. Can I finally get Hendrik out of that stupid armor? There we go. Now Hendrik is starting to look the part again. Thank God. I save, shouldn't I? God, that cat. I'm gonna have to put this puff away, because if I just take my headset and I just leave it on the floor, he's going to rip the puff off of the, off of the microphone and just bat it around the entire apartment. God. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's got some issues. He's lucky he's cute. Oh look, the fizzle foil. It's probably what I need, ain't it? It's expensive though. And that sword is also expensive. I can't afford both of them. And that staff, wow, okay. And the whip. Okay, I have to buy the fizzle foil. And then... Uh, I don't want to spend any more of my money. <laughs> we got the weapon we're looking for, though. You always forget who can equip Hendrik's armor. Is there somebody other than Hendrik that can? No, only Hendrik can. Are you just being silly about trying to figure out which character can? I take I, I should stop taking everything you say seriously. I should I should be the opposite. I should assume that everything you say I should assume that everything you say is a joke, <laughs> unless otherwise specified. <laughs> Okay. Sure. 
Why do I not recognize this area at all? I know I should, because I came through here before, but I don't recognize anything right now. Oh, those are the parasol things, okay. Okay, I do recognize this part right here. To the Grotta della Fonte. Because that's where I needed to go to get the, the candy, right? Grotta della Fonte. Throwing some shade at me. God. That one gets a, that one gets a B. I'll give that one a B. You got a talent for these puns, my man. Something special. Okay, Grotta della Fonte. He's, they said it's somewhere in the middle. We're looking for rainbow rock candy. Okay, I can't go that way. My options are now limited. Guess we'll try this way. Because I do remember dropping this vine. That's a lot of these wear tigers. There's a lot of them. There's no reason for me to go over there now, is there? Hopefully with someone will pony it up. Am I looking for a horse then? I'm not sure where the horse horse joke comes in. Oh, that's it right there, huh? Well, that was easy. Okay. Let's zoom back to Gondolia. I still need to go to Hato. So I guess we'll go in that direction. Oh, one of the My Little Pony movies is called Rainbow Rocks. I can proudly and happily say that I didn't know that. <laughs> I am afraid that I am not a brony, and I most likely never will be. <laughs> not my, not my, uh, not my cup of tea. A little too, a little too much for me. I, I say as I play a game, a video game that features the likes of Silvando in it. The Mortigan's little uh, floating dome there is certainly interesting. Definitely ominous. the first four seasons, so that's pretty much it. Still infinitely more than I have. And as long as you enjoy it, that's all that really matters. I mostly watch anime, for the most part, if I'm watching something. Although the majority of what I watch is just like YouTubers and Twitch streamers. More of these umbrella people. Alright, so I think there's a campsite here. I should probably be using my horse, shouldn't I? Once I get to the campsite, I will. Campsite unlocked! I'll just use the bell. Ding ding. I actually had some good stories. I guess it's the, the entire, like, culture around it that is primarily the turnoff. Because I do watch cartoons. Like, I watch, uh... 
I watched all of Gravity Falls and all of like Jackie Chan Adventures and Shaolin Showdown. Yes. The giant star that's descending towards the kingdom. Galopolis is finished. Well, that looks normal. Okay, another campsite. See, I was mostly just passing through here on my way to get to... Uh, to get to Hato. But now I'm starting to think... I should take a quick pick stop in Galapolis and see if there's something I can do here. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. I wonder. And they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? That's a weird looking taco. Erdwin's lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. Just name it Bob. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that. A story. Uh, he's twitching in an uncomfortable manner. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows Rise caused Edwin's lantern to descend... Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. No thanks. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right then. See, I can't name anything Bob because I've already got my cat Bob. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? <sighs> the legends of Galapolis tell that Erdwin's lantern was placed in the sky to watch over Erdria. But I fear that the sight of the sinister star descending upon us has caused many to doubt those legends. It is hard to feel that such an ominous presence could be benign. Of course, I cannot pretend to know the truth of the situation. Perhaps his most exalted majesty, the Sultan, might be able to provide you with more information. Perhaps. I simply do not understand what is going on. First Yggdrasil falls and the world becomes infested with monsters, and then this enormous star descends toward us. It's all too much for me. It leaves me with no desire to do anything. I will remain here and await my fate. Huh. The descent of Erdwin's lantern perhaps connected to the Lord of Shadows' destruction of Yggdrasil. Surely it is unthinkable that two such phenomena could occur so soon after one another by sheer coincidence. The poor horses are frightened. Easy girl. Silly star is nothing to be afraid of. Ah, I know you. You're the one who entered the Sand National in place of Prince Ferris. You are perhaps surprised that races are still being held here in Galopolis despite our current troubles, yes? But you see, people are in greater need of diversion than ever. Indeed, you should consider racing yourself. I think I remember reading somewhere that you can do horse races here. Maybe I should do some horse racing. Uh oh. 
That wasn't Bob that was climbing on my shoulder, to be fair, though. That was, that was the other cat. That was Theo. Bob is the one that's currently sitting in my lap. Bob is the brown tabby. Theo is the gray tuxedo. I guess we're horse racing. I see, okay. Maybe that's why I didn't get the ra get the reference. This is some gloomy music for the race. Is it going to change? We'll just skip. Do -do 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 -do. I forgot about drifting. Showing off my racing talent. My non-existent racing talent. I do feel like this course is easier than the uh, the one that I raced in at the beginning. Thank you for restoring my stamina for the final lap, I appreciate it. Thank you, game. I'm about to laugh this poor man. Easy. Quite literally, that was the easy difficulty. To the silver cup we go. Skip. Let's see how bad I am at these at this racing, shall we? I've had I've had my fair share of racing games, but I can tell you that one of the games that upsets me the easiest, one of the most genres of games that upsets me the easiest, is racing. Racing games. Project Cars drove me drove me nuts. Oh, the course is different now. Let's see. Where am I going? Is this the correct way? Give me more. Thank you. Here we go. But like, Project Cars drove me nuts. F-Zero got me angry. Super Mario Kart got me angry. Nice. I found the shortcut immediately. Oh, I just, I just assumed that that was the... The normal path. <laughs> I guess that worked out well for me, didn't it? On to the gold cup. Nope, not the bronze cup. Gold cup, let's go. No, it tighter turns went quicker. I was getting it near the end there. Yep. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, 
Bro, where'd you come from? What was with that speed boost he, came, he got out of nowhere? This one's only two laps. Okay. And then this guy's coming out of nowhere, coming out of the woodwork. How'd he get so far ahead of me? Oh, there we go. I'll take that. Thank you. Give me that win. Okay. <laughs> I was nervous for that one. But we nailed it. Okay. Oh wait, that was the gold difficult cup that I just did. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I works for me, I guess. I was going, you know, I was, you know, I was going to build, I was doing the build up, you know. I guess, I guess, I guess, yeah. Okay, sure. Why not? for me, I guess. That means this one should be easier, right? Looks like the course is the same. See, this is a bit easier. There isn't some guy just coming zooming out of nowhere and getting in front of me. for me because I am amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I've got two more to do because <laughs> I just for some reason pulled a dummy move. And did the hardest one accidentally. Skip. Skip. I'm a little surprised that they let me uh, compete in the difficult gold one. God, these guys are bullying me. I might lose on the bronze cup. Now I just need to maintain it. I say as this dude comes out of nowhere.
Okay, easy, right? I think I got one left. Professional horse racing. Okay. Skip. My body is ready. As long as I take my shortcut. Boopity boop. It's all under control. Let's lap this fool. I am the best horse racer alive. Nobody can challenge me or say otherwise. An impressive performance. Oh, cool. Golden reins. I don't. I, I want. I don't need your golden reins. Give them to my opponents. Give them to the dude that I lapped earlier. Think he needs them. Okay, I think I saw a magic key door. I'm guessing that's Solando's horse. Hello there, young man. How about a visit to the circus? It's just the ticket when you need to shake off those end-of-the-world blues. <laughs> What's inside? I just want a room that's just lined with pots, and that's it. Hocus loci, hocus hats, fizzle retardant suits. Thank you. I'll take that. Alright, let's go have a little, little, little chat with the Sultan, shall we? See what's what with, you know, the falling, the giant falling star that's going to destroy everybody and everything. You look rather tired. Not as arduous as the journey of others, of course. I've heard reports of many who have been killed while attempting to cross the desert. You're the adventurer who visited us some time ago, are you not? Perhaps you have learned something of Erdwin's lantern on your travels. If so, you must share it with his exalted majesty the Sultan immediately. Please, he is currently asking scholars from all over Erdria to bring him information concerning the star. Yeah, don't seem good. You know, giant star coming out of the sky, threatening to murder everybody. Ah, it is you, Prince Ferris's friend. His Highness is talking to his most exalted majesty, the Sultan, at the moment. He appears to be in a rather determined mood. He has set his mind on something, I'm sure of it. I have known that expression since he was but a child. Nice. My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed! Fear not, father! I will take all necessary precautions. 
By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Welcome back, Kirby Jet. Time for our favorite prince to exclaim his heroics. It is you. Just speak Thank in only emoji. Thank you again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be. It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Failing as usual. Join the club, Lord, man. Please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Unless we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Uh, hmm. What's written is you very have important. My thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. I'm afraid it's probably going to have to wait until next stream. The only question I really have is, like, the game is currently telling me that my current objective, well, before this, was to go to Zward's Rust and to go to the Warrior's Rest Inn. So I was a little confused. Does it really matter once I get the boat back and I'm in Puerto Valor, does it matter if I head towards Zward's Rust or Hato first? Because I just decided to head towards Hato even though my objective at the time was telling me go to Zwarts Rust, but now my objective is telling me to go to... to go to the Celestial Sands. I should go to Zwarts Rust? It's a little too late now, don't you think? I can at least deal with the star and then go to Zwarts Rust and then come back here and go all the way to Hato. Yeah, a lot of things are open. I will be going to Zwarzus at some point. I'm just wondering, is there, does the order really matter? Is there something I should be doing first or should I just be exploring to my heart's content? I can do them in different orders. Going to Zwarzus is not a bad idea. All right, so what I'll do Here's my plan. I'll finish up the mission with the star. Then I'll go to Zwar's Rust, and then I'll go to Hato. And then from Zwar's Rust, I'm assuming I'll go on to Octagonia. It's stylish armor. I do know that Jade is in Octagonia. And I don't know where Eric is, and I don't know where Serena and Veronica are either. But I'm sure we'll find them. 
I know we'll find them. It's just how long it'll take me to do so, I don't know. But let me see here.